Okay, so what I want to show you is just kind of a close-up uh, view of the head carriage, your shoulders, and also your back. So that's going to include your neck, of course, and everything as far as where your eyes go. So think about this. If, if you're not aware of you know, where your ears should be over your shoulders, imagine that you see somebody like this, right? So that their head is what's called a forward head posture. All of that weight from your head, your head weighs between 10 and 15 pounds, is actually pulling on your neck. And if it's pulling on your neck, it's pulling on your upper back, your back, even way down into your hamstrings, possibly even at your calves. So just to give you a perspective, if you just kind of took your head and reached it back so that I can't see what I'm doing, but I have a general sense that my ears and my shoulders are kind of lined up. Okay, so jutting it out and then pushing it back. It elongates in through your neck. It puts gravity kind of back in its place, or you put your head back in its place so that gravity is not pulling your head forward, right? Because gravity will do that downwards. You're actually lining yourself up so that you can be big and lifted. And when you do anything as far as changing your head and your neck position, you're gonna change how, what I call your information highway in your neck, you're gonna change your breathing, how you feel about yourself, because if you're, you're being pulled down, you're gonna essentially feel pulled down. Uh, your mood will change, uh, your perspective will change, how you interact with people, and really how you show up as well. So let me just show you something as well from the side. So not only pulling your, your head back and, and being tall, rolling your shoulders back, okay? So sometimes that's kind of, you know, people get it. But let me show you one other thing that you can do uh, that may help that out. And when you're doing rolling your shoulders back, you may hear some crunching, crinkling kind of a thing. That's okay, you know, as long as you don't go into pain, but it's really a good idea to roll your shoulders back. Um, stay away from going the other way because the other way is just encouraging kind of almost like a wave going in like that so what this is uh, it's called Lewis circles the gentleman that made it up his last name is Lewis uh, it's kind of I like it uh, and I think that you may as well so you're gonna put your fingertips on your shoulders your elbows are, are out wide and the idea here is that you're going to round in through your spine but also you're going to roll your shoulders down with your elbows down, up and around. Okay, so that uh, affects your shoulder joint. It also affects underneath of your armpits, these muscles underneath here called your serratus anterior. I kind of I kind of look at them as kind of like banana muscles underneath here. You want to keep those open because during the day, you know, we're all closed in there. So this helps you to open up in a couple of spots. So let me show you from the front. So you're gonna round forward, your elbows drop down, coming up and around. So inhaling, exhaling. And then from the side, you're gonna bend down and coming around. Don't let your fingertips come off of your shoulders. It just kind of keeps you in a good place. And practicing picking up your posture by simply picking up your eyes. It may be a really easy thing to say, but where your eyes go, everything else will follow. And sometimes we do need to look down, but not always. Um, Look up, look forward, look into the world uh, that's going to lift your whole entire beingness up. So something to practice.